Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mortal Jellyfish video. Now, this says should you buy Warrior, but I think it should be understood that the Warrior is a part of the paid Battle Pass. So yeah, this is just a part of the should you buy Battle Pass series, but of course we're just talking about the Warrior today. Uh, but yeah, so let's talk about the Warrior here. Um, now, if you do like these should you buy videos where I help try to save people's Robux, make sure to like and subscribe, it helps out a ton and it'd be much appreciated. On that note, what we're going to do today's Should You Buy video slightly different. We're still going to have some gameplay, but there's a little bit of testing I think we have to do with this kit. And that is because this kit has what is known as Warrior Armor. Now, this is its own separate entity of armor. It basically, if you don't know, it replaces the Diamond Armor for Warrior. And with this recent update that Bed Wars dropped, uh, yeah, that's basically all it does is just replaces your Diamond Armor with something a little bit different. Because if we read it, here we are. We got it right here on screen. Warrior armor is slightly weaker now. Now a lot of people thought this meant that all of Warrior's armors were slightly weaker and I can assure you I tested it and that the only weaker armor this guy has is his warrior armor from the previous state it was. Uh, next up warrior armor cost reduced from 12 emeralds to 10 emeralds. This is true it is only 10 emeralds to buy this armor so only two more emeralds than diamond armor. And then last off warrior can now buy emerald armor for a cheaper price uh, 35 emeralds instead of 40 emeralds. Now, this sounds dandy and all because you can buy leather armor for 50 iron, which is 10 less, and you can buy your iron armor for 110, which is 10 less. Now, in reality, if you think about this outside the box, 20 iron, how much does 20 iron really take to get? Yeah, even with a tier zero generator, uh, that 20 iron, I mean, like, that's not going to take you very long to get, you feel me? So, I don't even know if we can, I mean, yeah, technically it's a bonus, but it's nothing, nothing wild, nothing out there. Uh, and then, uh, of course, you know, the other save price is on emerald armor, which is 35 emeralds instead of 40. Now, 5 emeralds, you know, that's a, that's a decent bit, though. I mean, like, 5 emeralds could buy you 2 sets of balloons and 1 emerald extra, could buy you a diamond sword... Uh, I mean, so it, that, I mean, it's nothing like oh, it does saves me an entire emerald sword cost. It's nothing like that, but it's uh, it's definitely a good save. That's probably a lot better save than the other two, uh, which means that this thing is this kit's probably a little bit better later game than it is earlier game. I mean, yeah, it's got the earlier game armor, but you also have to buy a sword. Where something like Barbarian doesn't have to buy a sword, they would just have to buy the armor. So if they save ten on armor and Barbarian saves twenty, get into a stone sword. I mean. Yeah, you can make your own opinion there if you want, but uh, anyways, so the 5 emeralds is a pretty decent save, we can't lie there, but the 20 iron for the first 2 sets of armor, that's pretty that's pretty trashy, like I feel like it could be, could be a little bit better. Now this would be hard to tune because giving like 20 or 30 iron off leather armor could be pretty devastating, like uh, it would be crazy, but anyways, let's not get on too much of a tangent. Uh, my point is, is the iron costs that are in the beginning of this kit that it saves you, uh, just aren't that great. Um, that said, uh, the Emerald one is a decent save, but nothing, not that much when you're late game. When you're late game, five Emeralds isn't too much of a big deal. Uh, so yeah, the, the savings isn't that great. Uh, next up though, we gotta talk about the Warrior Armor, and that's gonna move us into our testing portion of things. So yeah, I'll see you guys over on the, uh, testing portion of things. So heading into the testing portion of this, we're gonna test, uh, Warrior armor versus diamond armor versus uh, emerald armor. As you can see here, uh, I mean, it, it like this is no protection right here. And you can see that uh, the warrior armor is a little bit better than diamond armor. Uh, if you do the math behind the numbers, you will find out that you can take one more hit in warrior armor than you can in diamond armor. And then, of course, uh, with the new nerfs to it, Emerald Armor just completely stomps Warrior Armor. Like, it's not even close anymore. It actually is just way, way stronger. Uh, but yeah, now that uh, now that we're done with testing no prot, we're going to test uh, what it is like with full prot on. So here we are into the spicy full protection test, uh, tier 3 armor upgrade that is. And uh, yeah, I mean, everything seems to scale down pretty well considering the armor prediction is working. Uh, yeah, I mean, it still comes out to that Warrior's Armor will, uh, probably give you about one extra hit in a fight. Uh, but yeah, it's still about half the protection that Emerald Armor gives all full maxed out, uh, as it takes 5 and it takes 10 to 11. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely not gonna compete with anybody in Emerald Armor, but it most certainly will compete with, uh, will most certainly compete with everything else in the game. So yeah, uh, on that note, let's get into the end of this video. Yeah, the end of the video. 
well, I mean, the end of the video, but not really the end of the video because we gotta go through the whole should you buy portion of this thing. Uh, in that we're gonna brief, gonna do a brief cover over his pros and cons, although I don't think he really has any cons because the kit doesn't really have any negatives to you playing it. Uh, so, pros obviously, he's gonna get leather armor cheaper, he's gonna get iron armor cheaper, and he's gonna get emerald armor cheaper. Now, fun fact for you people out there, I know at the start of this video it said 35 emeralds with armor, but in the midst of making this video and buying emerald armor again, I realized that those sly dogs over there at, uh, Easy GG, uh, the developer team, they said it was 35 emeralds, but when you go on a game and play, it actually costs 36 emeralds. Eh, yeah, I caught him. Caught him right handed. Can't be slipping up around old jelly here. I'll, I'll catch you. Catch you slipping up. Um, anyways, uh, that said, it's only going to save you four emeralds instead of the initial five that we thought, which means that you are only actually going to be able to buy two sets of balloons. Um,. Bro, that actually looked like they just went in the wrong. Uh, anyways, you're only able to buy two sets of balloons with no extra diamond or a diamond sword with no extra stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's still pretty decent. It's still nice to save emeralds when you can. Um, it's no crazy savings as we had talked about before. It's uh, it's rather mediocre savings of um, of um, uh, of savings. I don't know how else to put it. 20 iron really doesn't make a big difference. Four emeralds might make a slight difference, but we're talking real late game. Like, we're talking people have emerald armor, people have emerald swords. I mean, saving four emeralds that far in the game is not that big of a deal for anybody who plays that far in the game. By then, farmers are just spawning millions of emeralds. The middle, everybody's just cranking out tier three generators across the map. Yeah, so, I mean, four emeralds that late in the game really isn't saving you much. So, in my opinion, yeah, it's a pro that he gets cheaper rates for armor. Uh, but none of his discounts are anything to ride home about or be super happy about. They're, uh, they're mediocre, if not bad. Uh, I would like to maybe see 15 iron off each armor. So, you know, make like leather armor 45 and iron armor 105. That might make it seem a little better. It might make his early game potential a little too strong, though. I don't really know. Balancing's not my job. Uh, anyways. Uh, next up. The biggest thing about this kit, the biggest special thing he gets is obviously got to be a pro about him, and that's warrior armor, which is essentially a slightly better diamond armor. Now it's going to run you two more emeralds, so for the price of two more emeralds, you're going to basically get one more hit over diamond armor. Um, now that's really hard to talk about. It really depends on what side of the spectrum you want to look at it. Would you rather save two emeralds and get a thing of balloons? Now, so let's say the guy in diamond armor has balloons and... He can, uh, and he can just take one less hit, uh, or you could have the warrior armor and take one extra hit. Uh, I mean, a lot of fights sometimes really do come down to one hit, and a lot of my gameplay I've had those where it comes down to one hit and I'm alive, so that one hit could mean a lot. But saving those two emeralds on the initial cost of an armor could also save lives. I mean, having those extra balloons because you don't have to pay ten emeralds versus eight emeralds. Uh, but yeah, so should you buy, I mean, I think the kit's mediocre, and I know this is gonna make a lot of people angry. Um, yeah, I mean, he used to be really god tier, but, but after his nerfs, guys, I really think this kit's in a mediocre area. I don't think it's anything crazy. It's not like Rage Blade. Rage Blade actually does 10 more damage than an Emerald Sword. Uh, we're not seeing that kind of protection out of his armor. Then again, you can't lose armor like this. So, I mean, he has no downside. So that's our cons. Uh, the con of this kit is nothing. Like, the only con you get for playing uh, Warrior is, uh... Is that he he doesn't lose anything he you literally lose nothing for playing it like warrior armor is so close to emerald the uh, diamond armor in price and it's a little bit better it works perfectly i mean it's basically just a kit to give you an alternate type of armor with slightly cheaper armor upgrades um it's a mediocre kit though i don't think it's op a lot of people are raving home that it's op even i made some jokes that it was op you know gotta stir the pot up a little bit get people going oh it was uh, it's op you know get people going get people angry in the comments it's kind of funny sometimes uh but yeah i think it's a mediocre kit uh it, it's definitely a solid enough kit that i would say i mean yeah you could buy it if you're just looking for some more uh gameplay like in a sense gameplay comes differently from different kits so yeah i would say it's worth it I would say it's good enough that it's worth it. It's not bad. I mean, I've heard a lot of the other kits are really struggling to feel good, uh, like Raven and Pyro, which is supposed to be the big insane kits of this battle pass. Uh, but yeah, I would say he's decent enough that he's fun to play, uh, but don't expect him to like carry you to anything because, I mean, he's not that good. I mean, he's good, but he's not that crazy. 
on that note guys hopefully this helped you decide maybe a little bit more uh, into the battle pass and if it's worth your money or not on that note though I would always like to say that it's probably worth just still playing the game and leveling the battle pass and then say one day like in six weeks from now you're rank 50 and all these kits get buffed to really good levels and you're like oh yeah it's worth it uh, and then you just you know you just buy it and you get everything that could also work so it'll be a little slower because you won't get the extra 20% but I don't think that's stopping you because I believe in you uh, on that note, though, I'd like to take this portion of the video to thank our members. Uh, so, yeah, thanks, Mama Peace, for being a member to the channel. Much appreciated. And on that note, guys, I will see you on the next video. Peace out.